To check out all our products, go to musicnomadcare.com. Hey, it's Rand from Music Nomad, here to talk about all the features and benefits of our high quality precision setup gauges using the Keep It Simple Setup Method. Hey, it's Jeff Luttrell, Master Guitar Tech and owner of San Francisco Guitar Works and Sonoma County Guitar Works, and I'm here to show you how to use all the precision gauges used in the Keep It Simple Setup Method. Being able to measure your string height at the nut is a critical step in the setup process. Music Nomad's precision nut height gauge will help you do it quickly and accurately. The gauge comes equipped with the three most common nut height sizes, 16, 18, and 20 thousandths of an inch, plus three additional sizes, 12, 14, and 22 thousandths of an inch, to accommodate for a desire for a lower action or a heavier pick attack. Instructions printed right on the handle make it extremely easy to dial in your nut height. It's perfect for electric, acoustic, classical, and bass guitars and features laser etched markings that take the guesswork out of which gauge to use for each instrument. It's made of premium stainless steel construction without the annoying, messy oil found on traditional feeler gauge sets. It even comes with a convenient hang hole. So now we're going to measure the height of the strings at the nut. And it's a really critical measurement. If the height of the strings at the nut is too low, then the open string will buzz. If the height is too high, then the string will be hard to push down so your action really suffers and the uh, strings can play sharp at the first fret because as you're depressing the string, you're stretching it and it goes sharp before it contacts the frets. Nut height is really critical to the way a guitar is going to play and sound. So in order to measure it, we're going to use our nut height gauge. And uh, this is a, uh, a set of gauges that's uh, specifically marked for a variety of guitars from electric to acoustic, classical, and bass. And I believe me, I've used every complicated nut height gauge out there. Digital, dial indicators, the brass bass kind, the, uh, the, uh, the caliper style, and I've just never been happy with any of them. And uh, through working on this project, I've really come back to just love the simple gauge. It's just easy to use, it's accurate, and there's really just no hassle. Um, what's cool about these gauges is that they're, they're marked specifically for the string that they would be used on. Uh, you know, for instance, the 20 thousandths is for a low E and A on a standard guitar. Uh, it's for the E and A string on a bass or for the low E and G on a classical. So you don't have to remember exactly what the numbers are. You can just look on the gauge and you can use the one uh, that's uh, specific to your instrument. Um, the way that we came up with these sizes and not some other sizes is through having done more setups than I care to remember, we have determined at these heights, this open string will play cleanly for all but the heaviest attacks. Um, but the string is low enough to the fret that you don't run into intonation issues and the string is very easy to play. So the first fret action is very soft, but it's high enough to not buzz and it's low enough to play in tune. So these measurements really work well across the board for, uh, for most players. So once I've selected the proper size gauge for my guitar, so on this guitar, low E and A string, uh, that's going to be a 20 thousandths of an inch gauge. Um, I will go ahead and um, put the guitar into the playing position in tune. The way that we'll use this gauge is we'll slide it on top of the first fret between the first fret and the string. Then we'll follow the touch rule. If the gauge does not touch the fret and the string, then we'll know that our string is too high and we'll need to lower the string slot in the nut. If the gauge pushes the string heavily up, touches the fret and string heavily, then we'll know that the string is lower than spec. Now, if the string does not buzz open, that is not a problem. So that will, uh, so you will be able to decide for yourself if the string is below spec, but it doesn't buzz, you can just leave well enough alone. If you place the gauge on top of the fret and slide it between the string and the fret, and this, it contacts the string and fret heavily, so you have a heavy touch on both the top and the bottom, and the string buzzes open, then you will need to either shim the nut up fill the slot, or have the nut replaced. And any competent local luthier should be able to help you out. If you put the gauge on top of the fret and it slides in and just perfectly touches the string and the fret top, 
then you uh, know that your string is adjusted correctly and you won't need to take any action. After you've measured your low E string, you will then go ahead and measure your A, D, G, B, and E. You'll just repeat the same process. It's really easy just to slide uh, the gauge under the E string to get over to the A to determine its height. And then you will move over and find your gauge for D and G on guitar. And the D, I find that it's easiest to come in from the low E side and you can get right over to that D string, no problem. And then on the G, I will usually come in from the treble side and be able to, uh, to pick up that G and measure it from there. When you have the gauge between the fret and the string, if you're unsure if it's touching or not, you can tap on the string and listen for a little click. If you can hear a click, then you have a little bit of space between the string and the fret, um, even if it's hard to see that actual gap. So that's a, um, an easy way to determine if you're, uh, if you're right on the gauge or if you're just a little bit above it. You'll find that there are three gauges that are not designated for a specific string. Those gauges are a, a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner than the designated gauges. You can use those if you have a heavy attack. You can start at .022 on your low E string, use .020 on your D and G, and a .018 on your B and E for additional clearance at the first fret. Or if you have a lighter attack, you can drop down and use the .018 on your E and A, the .016 on your D and G, or the, and the .014 on your B and E. So now we're going to adjust the string height at the nut. We, having measured our string height using our nut height gauge, I've determined that the low E string is a little bit too high using the touch rule. My gauge went in and it did not contact both the string and the fret. So I'm going to file the low E string slot to lower the E string at the first fret. So I'll select the proper size file for the string gauge. This is a 46 thousandths of an inch thick low E string. So I'll use a 46 thousandths file for that. If you have a, a string that falls between nut file sizes, you can use a file that's up to three thousandths of an inch larger than the string gauge. That size will still be tight enough to keep the string from rattling, but it will provide enough clearance that the string will easily slide through the nut slot, preventing tuning issues. So I've selected my 46 thousandths file, and what I'll do is I will loosen my string and take it out of the nut slot. So I'll put the file in the slot, angle down towards the headstock just a bit, and I will gently file the bottom of the nut slot. I'll blow the, any debris out of the slot, put my string back in, and tune back to pitch. Then I'll bring my guitar back into the playing position, and using my low E and A nut height gauge, I will put that between the string and that just goes. There's no gap now, and it's just very lightly touching both the string and the fret. So that is a properly adjusted nut, uh, nut slot. And then I can check the open string for any buzz, and I don't have any. So this is gonna work really well for, that, uh, for the string height at the first fret. To perform your own setup, make sure you check out all Music Nomad's Keep It Simple setup gauges and tools. Not only is a Keep It Simple setup fun, but a properly set up guitar takes your playing and sound to a whole new level. That's Music Nomad Quality, raising the bar in equipment care.